and God's people have become afraid. The people of God have been so desensitized now until just about anything goes in God's house. We've become so member hungry and so number numbers oriented until it's not about holy doctrine no more. And you would think God done changed, but he has not. Malachi 3 and 6, I'm the Lord your God, and I change not. Hebrews, the 13th chapter and the 8th verse, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. No matter what goes on, I thank God for Matthew 16. Jesus Christ said, upon this rock, the rock of the truth, I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. Not churches. Not denominations. Church. Mm -hmm. The church is not what we think it is. The church is not built out of bricks and mortar and stained glass windows and cushioned seats. Oh, no. But the church is the body of Christ. It's every blood-bought child of God that has surrendered to God in order for God to fulfill his purpose in their lives by working through them. You believe to say amen. And so in these dark times, it's always a, a key thing to keep in mind that no matter what people are doing in the denomination, rest assured, nobody's making heaven except the pure in heart. And God has given us that awesome task to purify our hearts by obeying the truth. Amen. He's given us that task to bring our bodies under. First Corinthians, the ninth chapter, the 27th verse. I keep under my body and I bring my body under subjection to this word. So that when I do preach to other people about Jesus Christ, I make sure that I'm being controlled by Jesus Christ. Why? Because God knows how to reach everybody. And if I'm not in tune with him, he cannot use me as a tool to, to do his bidding. You believe me say amen. So that's the key about it. The Holy Ghost indwelling in us and we fall in him. Romans 8 and 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Sons of God. Amen. 1 John 3 and 1, beloved, behold what man of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called. The sons of God. Sons of God. And it do it not yet appear what we shall be, but we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. That's the key right there. That's the, what determines where your allegiance is, is what are you doing to bring about Jesus Christ's purpose in your life? He never has created mindless automatons of what we would call a robot that just automatically obeys him. Automatically serve him. No sir. No ma'am. It's a free will thing. It always and always has been and always will be a free will. You'll be able to say amen. And that's what determines whether or not we make heaven or not. It's when our will kick in. You'll be able to say amen. And that's the key right there because now it's been so, the, 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 the truth of God's word has been clouded by personalities. Personalities. We're living in the age of personality worship. We'll worship a preacher, but we won't worship God. We'll worship a denomination, but we will not worship God the way God wants to be worshipped. Religion has always given you a substitute and a cushion to feel good when you're not obeying God. Now that's religion. When he ran upon the woman in the fourth chapter of John, the girl was shacking, but she was a church member in that local congregation. Oh, yeah. And so when he called in question about the husbands that she changed for whatever reason, you had five and the one you're living with, now you're just shacking. That's the Douglas translation. That ain't in there. Mm -hmm. But you're just shacking. How do I know he's against shacking? If he, God is against, wasn't against shacking, why would he confront her in her sin? 
See, there are terms and conditions that have been overlooked now by many of our brethren, our preaching brethren. But if God is going to bless us, we have to put ourselves in, the, in his way. His way is not church of God in Christ. His way is not Baptist. This is his way. The only way left on record. You believe say amen. And when he confronted her, she throwed up her religion. My mammy and my pappy said we ought to worship up here in this mountain. But you Jews are talking about we got to come all the way down to Jerusalem and worship. And Jesus said, woman, you worship your know not worth for salvation is coming from the, and by the way, you talking to him now. He didn't take a text or opening and a closing. He just gave her simple truth. And that's what that dog is fighting now. Simple truth. You give people a pacifier, they don't mind. They'll, they'll make it to God's house. Check this out. Most of the time, Sunday school, YPWW, Bible band, be by, by, by like a handful now. But the morning worship, we got to find somewhere for you to sit. Mm -hmm. That's how much importance men have put on God's word. You get saved, but you're trying to live it out of your own strength. And my Bible teaches me that you must be taught the word of God. And wait, that, that responsibility has, has never been given to no preacher. It, that responsibility of you being taught is the Holy Ghost. And God will anoint the preacher, the teacher, whoever's teaching his word to make it plain to you so that you can see yourself and correct what you need to correct. That's what this is for. The, the old folks call it the dressing, this the dressing up room. This, this is where we get it right. I, I, I'm not going to slip into heaven on no technicality. Hey, that's another term that's been thrown around now. Heaven. You ask, amen. How many of y'all Christians? Everything raised their hand. How many of y'all going to heaven? Everything raised their hand. Then you ask this question. How you living? It's by grace. Show sure enough. It's by grace, not of works. Show sure enough. But we leave off Ephesians 2 and 10. That he didn't, we don't do good works to be saved. We do good works because we saved. And a good work is to live for God. Amen. If I'm representing you and all the public sees is me, they don't see you, but I'm representing you, then I am a visible representation of what you're like. Y'all ain't talking to me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why I thank God for these, these two services we got going on now. Mm -hmm. This is the time when we get a chance to really just dig down in God's word. Amen. Yesterday when I left you, we was warned by Jude to contend for the faith. Now check this out, brothers. Check this out, sisters. I was talking to my son on last night. That sodomite spirit and that lesbian spirit has steam rolled over. Their steam, it looks like they got a full head of steam. In. Can't nobody stop them, but hold on. It ain't over yet. No, sir. And it makes no difference who endorsed that kind of lifestyle. A president? A Congress, it makes no difference. God has put a brand of his hate on that. And when God puts his foot down, somebody's going down. You got to preach love and be tender. I don't find that in when Peter was talking about it. It ain't in there. It ain't in there now. Second Peter 2, he said, God made Brandon, made them and them folks in Sodom and Gomorrah an example unto everybody that afterwards shall live ungodly. Now, ungodly and sinners are not the same thing. A sinner never heard the truth. Therefore, he hadn't had the opportunity to, to accept or reject the truth. But an ungodly person has heard the truth and made a conscious decision, I'm not going to live by this man's standard. No, sir. I'm my own boss. I'm grown. Well, act like you're grown. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Hallelujah. 
Go ahead, turn it off. I got that in there. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know what gets me ticked off? I get more phone calls of folks out of the other churches trying to talk about what they pastor doing, and then when I shut them up, I said, no, I don't, I don't want to talk about your pastor. That's your pastor. You set up on them, praise God, you deserve what you get. Even a roach will come out of a house that's smoking. And if your house is burning down, y'all there sense enough to come out. And if I was looking for some members, I'd open the doors of the church. But I got my hand full with this 30 some bunches hanging out with me now. And I thank God. I'm not moved. Pastor Dell, I shall love you. Yeah, until I hit your hit your hit your block. Or you want some. Amen. You ain't took a text yet. We're finna take a text now. I'm finna take a text now. Reach over and get your Bibles. Turn with me to Jeremiah. So Jesse, I want Jeremiah chapter 7 and you stay right there. Son, I wrote Jeremiah 11. I want that 12, 11, I wrote Jeremiah 11 verse 14, 13 and 14. Sister Alice, I want Jeremiah 14 verse 11 and 12. Remember what I said at the beginning of this message. Jesus Christ has put a concrete, given us concrete hope when he said in Matthew 16 that no matter what that dog is doing in this world and in this society, you will not stop the church. But everything that purports to be a church is not a church. And wait a minute, the, the acorn don't fall far from the tree. This is a new century, a new group of hypocrites. And my God, that same spirit that got these folks in trouble with God is right here today. Jeremiah 7, pick it up in that 16th verse. Read. No, give me the first verse. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 1, the word of the Lord. Came, Read. Came to Jeremiah from Read. the Lord saying, stand in the gate of the stand Lord's house. Stand in the gate of the whose house? The Lord's house. Wait a minute, whose house? The Lord's house. The church house. Read. And proclaim there this word. Lord, have mercy in what word? And say. Wait, wait, we got a lot of words going on. A prophetic word, a healing word, a blessing word. But every time you find God's man, every true prophet, he's calling the people in question about how they're living. You don't even say about Soak up all God's blessings. If he'll let you, show enough, he ain't no food. Amen. And many wonder why they can't get ahead. God won't let you get ahead. The devil ain't running nothing. Everybody looking at me and listen, please. Satan is not running nothing. My Bible says if anything don't come your way, it's because God is doing the withholding. Psalm 7, huh? Read. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear whose word? Read. All ye of Judah, that, my God, that enter in at these gates. To Lord, have mercy, the Lord. every one of y'all that's coming to the church. Every one of you got your name on the church roll. Pay attention, cause God is talking now. Read three. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Who's talking, church? Who's talking, church? Read the God of Israel. Read amend your ways and the your God doings. that's over America, <laughs> the God that's over China. The God that's over Korea, Russia, you name it, praise God. I believe I read in Isaiah, he said, every nation under the heaven is nothing but a drop in the bucket. My God, hey, the clouds are the dust of his feet. My Bible said, pray God, he used the earth as a footstool. Come on here. He used the earth. Y'all familiar with a footstool? You got your recliner, and now they got it. Well, you don't need a footstool. They got one on the recliner. You lean back in the thing, lift your feet up. Amen now. He used this earth as a footstool. Read it. Amend your ways and your doings. What doing. did you say? Amend your ways and your doings. Boy, I'm telling you. We are in the grace. That's you talking. Second Corinthians, the sixth chapter, the first and second verse. He, he, he says, I'm, I'm beseeching you as workers together with him that you receive not the grace of God in vain. 
Now, what does that mean? You can get saved and refuse to obey God's word when it comes down to how you live it. And he'll put you right out that door. Hey, man, hey listen, beloved. When people get, get put out of church, man can't put you back in church. Now, you get in and out of the denomination, but you cannot get in and out of the church. Why? There's only one door, and he's it. And if he don't open it for you, you ain't coming in. And if he open it, you want to make sure he open it so you can come in and not throw you out. You'll be shy, man. I'm the door by me. If any man in, in huh? John 10, 9. Why do you give all that scripture and stuff? Because I, I ain't got no opinion other than this right here. I got six, six books of opinion, and every one of them is right. Amen. It was right before I got here. Praise man, praise God. And when I die, it's still going to be right. Read. And I will cause I just feel like prayer. Read. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. Amend your ways and your doings, and maybe I'll let you hang out with me a little while longer. Read. For trust ye not in lying words. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. We went to a service on last Sunday. Well, no, I'm going to leave that alone. My God. It's a shame how men perform. And it's a low-down, dirty shame. And I said, my God. Read it. Read the book. Read the book. Trust ye not in lying words, saying the, the temple, temple of the Lord. Lord, the temple of hey, the Lord. Hey, we got it going on. Come on over here. This is the Lord's house. I hear you. Read. The temple of the Lord are these Read. five. For if ye thoroughly amend your ways thoroughly and your means doings, don't leave no stone unturned. Whatever's in your life, get it out. Hey, listen to me, folks. This is the time to clean yourself up with this word. John 15 and 3, we clean through obeying this word. Huh? 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22, we purify our souls by obeying the truth. That is not the preacher's job. That's the thing that the preacher better be doing with the congregation. And God gave me this this morning. <laughs> All right with him. If the preacher ain't right and you fall in him, if he's blind, we got two blind mice. Hallelujah. Jesus said a blind can't lead the blind. They'll both fall into the pitch, the ditch, the hell. You see what I'm saying? Amen. I see, said the blind man. How can you? Your eyes ain't been open. Read. If ye thoroughly execute judgment. Lord, have mercy now. Wait a minute. That means do right by your fellow man. Do right by your brothers. Don't come up with a blessing plan so you can get rich. Huh? There's only one way that God ordained to bless his people. That's through tithes and offerings. Not buying and selling. I'm going to get there this morning too. He gave me that this morning too. Not buying and selling. We got raffles. We got, we selling plate lunches. Amen. Pray God. Trying to raise money. If I ain't know no better. Hey, my God, I thank God on the welfare. Y'all ain't talking to me. But my God, amen, my Bible said in Isaiah that the cow on a thousand hill belong to him. Amen, pray God. If I want a T-bone, amen, I ain't got to get permission from you. Wait a minute. All I know all the fowls by name. Come on here. Hey. I read in Isaiah, he said he holds a wind in his fist. My God. Ooh, hallelujah. We ain't got a clue who we dealing with. But the breath in your body, he has already counted every breath you going to take and up until the last breath. That's why we should fear him. The Bible declares the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You will be saved. But we don't fear God. Don't fear God. We live most of our lives on our own, you know, doing our own pleasure. And then when he calls in question, we get mad. Then we call ourselves tacking Jesus on just to make our conscience soothe and pray, God, we ain't going to stop doing nothing. Huh? And if the preacher calls us in question, I'll move my membership. Go ahead. God got to erase in his pencil too. Yes, sir. Huh? Revelation 3 and 5. If, if, you, if you're not going to overcome, plan on overcoming, I'll blot you out of this book here. Hey, I didn't say it. He said it. Amen. Amen. See, most times, how many of y'all ever worked in an office? Amen. How many of y'all ever dealt with office supplies? Amen. You know, when you type something and you make a 
You before they had that, that thing that do go back and take it off, we used to have what we call white out. Listen to me real close. It would take the ink off the page, but the imprint is still there. You believe me? Say amen. What does that mean? Except your sin is cleansed from the inside. My God, all you got is a white, you're just a whitest subject. Come on, Lord. You're a whitest subject. You look good on the outside, but you're full of dead men bone. Read the book. Execute judgment between a man and his neighbor. Read. Six. If you oppress not the stranger, read. the fatherless, and the widow. Oh, what you got, sweetheart? Now, 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 when I read this, see, I, I, this is how I, fa- I, I found out what ticks God off. <laughs> when he start bringing up your indiscretions, huh? Mind you, these people had the word and still wouldn't obey which made them un, come on, read. And shed not innocent blood in this place. Look out, baby killers. I do a lot of studying, and then when I, when I deal with topics and subjects, you know, about things going on, I do my research so I, I can actually know and not tell you no lie over this pulpit or anywhere out on the street. To hide fornication, a man or a woman or a husband cheating on his wife, and that woman he cheating on with comes up pregnant in order to hide that, that sin, they'll pay to kill that baby. Many times the baby is killed in the womb. It's considered nothing but tissue. Now, when I read in Genesis when Cain killed Abel, that blood cried out from the ground. Now, do you really think that same thing is not happening now. Only the difference is, it's not just Cain now. I mean, not just Abel now. No, sir. No, sir. And your president, I say your president, has given the green light to Planned Parenthood. He endorses that. Planned Parenthood is a nice way of saying murder for hire. Amen. But remember what the old saint said. Come on out that corner. You can't hide it. The light. Is turned on. Read. Neither walk after other gods to your hurt. This morning I'm going to ask a question. The message comes in the way of a question. I know I'm going to preach no subject, but I'm going to use the subject today. How far is too far? How far is too far? How far can you go when you when, when mercy gets up and leave? Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, just how far can you go against God and God don't put his foot down? I was going to say something else, but I'm, I'm going to be nice this morning. Read. Seven. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place. If you do what? If you thoroughly in your ways and do right by your fellow man, your neighbor between a do to execute judgment between a man and his neighbor. If you thoroughly do this, then I cause you to stay over him. I hold the judgment until your generation passes on. Read on. In the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Read. Hey, behold, ye trust in lying words. The Lord, we got it going on. The Lord is, is with us. My God, look at what all we got going on. We building big buildings. This fella in, well, I'm going to leave him alone. I ain't going to mess with him. You're the one that's teaching how to be a better you. I'm going to leave that alone. Amen. You can't be a better you. God never told you to be a better you. He never ordained for you to be a better you. He ordained for Jesus Christ to live his life through us, and that makes us holy. You be saying, huh? Wait a minute. Good people don't make heaven. No, sir. Sanctified folks make heaven. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up here. Nobody makes heaven without being pure in heart. Pure in heart means that you're separated from the world. We're not segregated. We have to work with them and we have to go after them with this word. We have to deal with them. But when they start transforming us, we got a problem. Yes, sir. So much so until now, we blending in so much until you can go in any church. I, I, I'm just going to, I ain't going to deal with Baptist. I'm going to deal with our churches. You go in any church in any city and you can't tell what's there except you look out on the shingle on the thing there. You are 
clothesline preacher. I ain't no clothesline preacher. I'm a holiness preacher, a gospel preacher. And if I got it all up around my rump, a shirt that looks, a skirt that looks like a shirt, and got enough nerve when I walk the trial to pull it down, honey, you already showing your rump. Low cut showing all this up here and singing in the choir. Y'all ain't talking to me. Read the book. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot, that cannot profit. profit. Will Nine. you steal? Murder. Lord have mercy. And wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, where did he tell him to proclaim this at? In the gate coming into the church. And boy, God called in their hand. He reading them like a book. Will you steal and cheat and murder? Read on. Commit and come adultery. And, and, and commit adultery. And, 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 swear, and, falsely. and swear falsely. The Lord is blessing me when you blessing yourself for now. Amen. Because he'll put a stop to that. That's why he told you in Psalm 37. Fret not yourself because of the wicked who prospers in his way. And tell lies like the Lord blessed him when you just went soak yourself in debt to get that Mercedes. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't talking to me. Read, read the book. Read the book. And burn incense unto, unto Baal, Baal. And walk after other and walk gods, after other whom, gods you know not. whom you know not. Ten. And come and stand and before me in this house. What? Wait. Come and stand in before me in before this house. me in this house, which is called by my name. With the house that's called by my name, and say, "We are delivered to do all these abominations." We're free over here. Amen. Now, God understand. I challenge you to find that in the book. I challenge you. I, I, I've been studying this thing, amen, for 30-some-odd years. I ain't found no way in there. He told me to do the best I can. The Lord understand. It ain't in there. No, sir. I tell you what is in there. He that overcomes. You know, Revelation. I, I love that book. I love that book. When I get kind of, you know, disgusted, I, I always get over in Revelation to remind myself we win it. I have to. You can't tell by what you're seeing around us. But I remind myself that, hey, we win, no matter what. Amen. The gates of hell will not prevail against God's people. No, sir. All right, read. Come and stand inside what you call by my name and say we, we are delivered. We're free to do these things. Has this house become a? 11. Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers now in your eyes? remember now what happened in John chapter 2, Mark chapter 11, and Luke, in the book of Luke. He, I love what, Mark, what Matthew said. When he got to the temple, he, <laughs> He seen what was going on, and he walked out the temple, got made him a whoop. The, 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 the proper folks say whip, but he made him a whoop. Hey Amen. He came back in there and whooped them devils out that throwed over the money changers. My God, you taking away all our money raising program, throwed out the money changers. Hey Amen. Praise God. How you throw them devils out of there? And wait a minute, you can't drive nothing out of God's house without bringing something in. He drove the hypocrites out. And brought the lame, the maimed, the heart, all of them that was bound by the day. He brought them in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then he told us when we give a, a supper, leave the lawyers at the house. Leave all the fellas with the titles at the house. Leave your bishop, your pope, all that bunch at the house. Now, go get the maimed, the lame, the heart, them that ain't got nothing. Nehemiah put it this way. He said, go your way. Eat the fat. Drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. And do it with gladness for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Well, I bless his name. It's called liberty. When you set somebody else free, God just used you to be a, a blessing. Read. I'm not going to, y'all ain't going to push me and I ain't going to get in a hurry this morning. No, sir. Amen. I'm watching the clock. I'm watching the clock for all of us. I right, read. Behold, even I have seen it, read. says the Lord. Twelve. But go ye now unto my place, go, which go to was shallow. shallow. Go to shallow and see what I did there. That's why I put my name at it first. And they didn't do right, and God stomped the people there, and he crushed the, the tabernacle. He did that. Not the devil. God did. Drop down, sweetheart. I asked a question. How far is too far? Drop down. I want the, the next verse. Read. But Tell them what verse you in. Oh. 
Yeah, 13. Read. And now because you have done all these works, says the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising early and speaking. My God, my God. Not, now that's I, why I can't sleep. But I'll lay down and close my eyes. Then somebody come across my mind. I already know. Get, get on up and pray. I ain't going to let you go back to sleep no how. Get on, get on up and pray. I said, my God, amen, praise God. So my, I'm, I'm telling you, amen. But when you get off in this word, amen, pray, feel like you slept eight hours. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, read. But ye heard not, and I call you, but ye answered not. My God, hey, if I'm calling you on, but notice, they call our D was, we just won't answer. We just ain't going to answer. We know he's telling us to get right, but, you know, our prophets, our false prophets telling us, God understand. You're going to be the head and not the tail. Amen. And God is blessing you going out and coming in. But you just can't keep from telling lies. Remember now, when you tell lies, you speak falsely in the name of the Lord and say we free. Telling lies, committing adultery. You name it. It was there. All right, read. 14. How many of y'all glad you came this morning? No, don't hold your hand up. My God. Now, you get people out of the line there. They've been in that now. It's a fiber thing. Ain't over with yet. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Read. 14. Now, I'm, I'm getting warmed up now. Therefore, what I do unto this house, which like is called by the... my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave to you and to your father, as I have done to Shiloh. Read on. Read on. 15. And I will cast you out of my sight. Read on. As I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Wait a minute. When he do it to one bunch, the other bunch ought to have sense. No, hey, don't do what they did. No, sir. I don't want God using me for no example. No, sir. You know how, how they used to do I'm going to make an example out of you. No, sir. No, sir. I'm going to obey you. No, hey, I don't want no trouble. No, sir. You, my God, I ain't looking for nothing else. Read. 16. Therefore, pray not my for God, the My God, my God. That's what I'm going to talk about today. How far is too far? When God tells a man of God, don't even pray for My God. Hey. He ordained his man to be a, a, a bridge between them that's, that ain't doing right in, in him. Hey, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't warn you. Warning come before destruction. I haunt this spirit before a fall. But I'm warning you through this man serving him. I ain't going to let him sleep. Get up, Isaiah. Get up, Jeremiah. Get up, Daniel. Get up. Go to the ones in authority. Uh, who put him on that cross? <laughs> read the book, read the book. Neither lift up cry nor prayer for them. Oh, what you got right? Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Neither make intercession to My me. My God, well, I hold up here. Don't, don't, don't pray and don't intercede. It's over. Look out, America. Been about it's about six years ago. I made this statement and people laughed. But God gave it to me and I said, He told me he let speak my word, let him speak it faithfully. Right? I ain't the one gotta back it up. He, I said he back he backed it up. <laughs> All of this stuff that's been happening in the media for the last seven, eight years, about, about eight or nine years ago, but about six years ago. It was preached from this pulpit. And they, they they laughing and grinning, skinning and grinning. He a little simple preacher. He don't know what he's talking about. I showed them. Amen. I just told, said what he said me to say. And we looking at it right now. Yes, sir. We looking at it. The statement that was made was the direction we going, God cannot allow us to continue to go in the direction we're going without, without punishing us to our face, paying us back to our face. All right, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, these folks seeming like they're going mad, killing folks and all that. A. A. Allen, when he was living, he made a statement. He said, America is going mad. And Khrushchev said these words. In order to, to get America, we won't have, we'll, we'll take America and we won't have to fire one shot. We'll, we'll infiltrate their ranks and we'll bring Jesus down to the level of just a mere man. Now, can anybody refute that that's exactly the attitude that this United States got about Jesus Christ now? Amen. 
That's the attitude. And they're passing laws that we can't preach against what they're doing. The only way I won't preach it, you got to cut my tongue out. We got some hell coming this way, y'all. Y'all with me? And can't nothing stop it. It's ironic. Don't nobody call on God until hell hit. Even atheists are calling on God. Hallelujah. Thought you didn't believe in God. Well, yes, son. 11, 11, verse 13 and 14. Read. For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, <laughs> and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem. Answer me, what's the difference in Judah and us today? We got all kind of gods now. Y'all, hey, tell the truth. We got them that we drive. We got them we live in. Y'all ain't talking to me. We got them that we put on, on, you know, when we go into functions, you know, like church. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It ain't about listening to the word of God no more. I come see what you got on and critique you. That tie don't go in that shape. You silly thing. We got silly men around there and silly women. Amen. Read. Have ye set up altars to the, that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense and to bow? 14. Therefore, pray not thou for these people. My God, hey, if I tell you something more than one time, I'm trying to get, get something over to you. Therefore, pray not for this people. Read. Neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Read. For I will not hear them in the time that uh, they cry unto me trouble. for their trouble. In their trouble. Read. 15. What have my beloved to do in my house? Seeing she oh, has. what you got? 14. Verse 11. Then said the Lord unto me. Read. Pray not for this people. Lord, have mercy on do, do y'all get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? They went too far. They went too far. And God say, I don't care if they cry out to me or not. I'm shedding it down. Yes, sir. He give us examples of when he turned his back and mercy walks away. In the New Testament, we'll get there. One man thought he was so far up there in the governmental, uh, you know, government authority until he sat on his throne. And he made a speech. They called it an oration in the book. He made a little speech. And because he was nourishing or, or helping the folks in, the, in you know, his region, they hollered, it's the voice of a God. It's the voice of a God. And brothers, sisters, <laughs> God ain't got to come out of heaven. He turned some worms loose on him and ate that man alive. Hey, not the devil, God. God's a lovable God. But this ain't the blue-haired, brown-eyed Jesus carrying lambs on his arm, hanging on the wall at your house. Matthew 23, he called him, he called him on the carpet and called him hypocrites and blind guys leading the blind. I said, my God, they talk about Jesus from sweet and humble. You better wake up. Amen. He could tell more high than the million bars of lie soap. Yeah. I mean, I mean know what lie soap is. Or was. They don't make it now. Read. Read on. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. God, help us. And ain't that the way we probably be trying to get in contact with God? We repent and we fast and we throw dirt on our head. And we try to humble ourselves. And God said, go on. You ain't going to do nothing but lie. No how. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Isaiah chapter, I want Isaiah chapter 1. Read on. Read on, dog. And when they offer burn off and an oblation, I will not accept My them. God, I ain't going to let you pay me off either. But I will. Oh, what you got right there. Get a lot of dollars here. Give you a hundred dollars. Amen. So a seed. This good ground to sow in, you devil. Read on, daughter. Read but on. I will consume them by the sword. I will do what? Consume them by the sword. Read. And by the fame and by the person. Read on. 13. And said I, our Lord God, behold the prophets say unto them. The prophets is telling them God ain't going to send no sword. He ain't going to send no famine. Jeremiah lying. He lying now. Always got doom and gloom. 
that that's the tag they put on Pastor Doug. You ain't never got a good word. Hey, God's word is a sure word. You don't need a good word. You need a sure word. Amen. Something you can base your soul on. Huh? Y'all with me this morning? You need a word you can base your soul on. And wait a minute. This word gives peace to those that obey God. Don't you fool yourself. God has never ordained for us to worry. And my Bible says in Isaiah 26 and 3 that he'll keep me in perfect peace if my mind is stayed on him. So I'm not worried about this economy. I'm not worried about how things are going. The Lord is my help. Why well, bless his name? Isaiah 1 and verse 5. Somebody, anybody, please. And then, well, give me, and then son, you give me gem, uh, uh, amen, Isaiah 29 again. I read on, daughter. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Read. Ye will revolt more and more. Read. The whole head is sick. Lord, have mercy. Read. And the read. whole heart faint. Read on. Six. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, My there God. is no soundness read. in it. But wounds and bruises read. and petrifi petrifying sores. Where you at? Putrefying. All right, read, read. read. Go ahead. They Go ahead. have not been closed, neither bound up. Neither, neither. I tell you, back, back up that third verse. I like this. But, but hey, I mean, y'all know God got a sense of humor. Hey, Amen. Look at the third verse. Read, give me the third verse. Read. The ox knows his owner, and the ass. The ox, his the, the ox know who, who 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 his master is, and the donkey. And the ox, and the ass, his knows master's, his master's crib. crib. He know where to go get fed. But hey, Israel, wait, wait, he know how to get home. If he stray out in the field, he know how to come, well, I, the way to get back home. But my people don't, read on. But Israel do is not know. My people do is not consider. My God, look at how black folks. I know you think I was going to get to, I'm getting to you now. Amen. Black people have been slay, enslaved, but God has brought us out of one chain, and then we chained ourselves back up to the world. We chained ourselves back up. Y'all ain't talking to me. We have become slaves to that which cannot speak verbatim as a human being, yet it has influence over us. Amen now. And, and, and please, please, don't take my word for nothing. Open your eyes. I never dreamed that we'd be, I'd still be here to see what Daniel saw. Many going to and fro. You know, hey, we can get on a plane today and be across this globe in, in a matter of hours. Not days, not months. Hours. Then he say, knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge, technology. God is releasing that knowledge into this atmosphere. My God, this thing is moving so fast and it's unfolding just like he said. And we want to shuck and jive him and pray God and play church. When he told us certain things must take place before he come, and if they're taking place, and you know this will be true, that these things are taking place, how, what kind of person ought you to be? Pulling off the old man and putting on the new man. Huh? Turning your mind to the book, getting it off the television. Y'all, amen. Let me, let, me, let me back up. You know, you can't be satisfied with the four channels they got. You got to get your cable. You got to get your satellite. You can get three, four hundred channels then to gaze into the black box. You see, you're getting a vision. It ain't God's vision, but it's a vision. My God. Amen. Hey, hey, regular TV is tough. Hey, Amen. I can't even watch the news. Didn't they have a commercial? Some gal ain't half naked. Amen. Prayer trying to sell a car. Why? They know men's and women's eyes are full of lust. I would just say men, but we got these gals running after gals now. Y'all ain't talking to me. My God, that dog is subtle and he's sneaky. And he's and he didn't ease his agenda in and, and, and the more restraints. God gave me this this morning. The more restraints are being knocked down one by one. Until you name it, praise God. They, it was a time when they wouldn't cuss on TV. Did y'all remember? Y'all remember those times now? They would you wouldn't hear, hear, hear cuss words. Now praise God. That's on regular TV. They cussing and they swearing. And you and, and pray God. You don't want me to preach against this this man. Amen. Hallelujah. You get more folks and stuff. Hey, why would I want a devil off in there anyhow? Amen. Unless he's trying to get saved. 
And we get more visiting and stuff. That's why I, I thank God for the little handful God gave me. Praise God. So when, amen, pray God, they can get, they be with me so long until they say, my God, if I'm going to stay over there, I'm about to pull off this and quit that and stop doing this. Before that man called me out. There's a fear of God in God's house. And when people feel God in God's house, then I believe God feel comfortable dwelling among us. Amen. I won't come to church and God ain't doing nothing. I'm, I'm genuine. Let me put it that way. Genuine. We're always doing something. But it's not genuine. Read the, the book. For all sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Uh, oh, what you got? Je uh, Isaiah 29. I'm putting a quote in the paint. Don't y'all watch the clock? I'm watching the clock. Twenty-nine nine. Stay yourself. Stay yourselves and wonder. What does that mean? What does that mean? Quit running from church to church. Get your your ring in one place and you stay there. Read. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not, not with but wine. Not with wine. They stagger, but Remember not with strong Lord, drink. Remember the Lord warned us. Remember in in Mark chapter four, He said, "The soul sows the word." There are those that will be drunk with the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of things and into their heart would choke the word. They drunk but not with wine. Amen now. Hallelujah. Hey, Jeremiah 29 verse 9. Read song. Stay yourselves and wonder. Read. Cry ye out and cry. Read. They are drunken but not with wine. Read on. They stagger but not with strong Staggin, drink. Staggering, staggering. Huh? Stagging. You can't walk straight to save your life. Amen. Hey, I ain't talking about you. Ain't, you're drunk but not with wine. And you're staggering because you, you're crooked. Amen? You can't walk a straight line because you're crooked. You know, when they stop you for, uh, they, you're sufficient a DWI, what they, what they do? You blow in the breath thing, and then they make you do what? Uh, and I don't care how you try to cover it up. You, that when one foot come up off the ground, you going the other way. Huh? And telling lies. I ain't had but one bill. I, I, I will read. Ten, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Lord have mercy. And hath closed wait, 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 everybody, please li listen and look. Deep sleep means judgment is falling all around you and you're too caught up in what you got going on. You can't see it. A deep sleep. Huh? This is the bunch that honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. In vain do they come to church. In vain do they pray for me. In vain. Hey, he told them in, one, in the same book of Je uh, Isaiah, he said, why are you going to spread your hands before me as, as those that want me? You ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Boy, look, hey, he cleans pulpits, and I'm glad to. Amen. Now, I thank God with the heaven that I'm going to, amen. Ain't nothing up there that's working, defiling, the working abomination of making the lie. Read! And had closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered. Read! Eleven. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that hey, is sealed. Check, check this out. Check this out. Hey, and this right here, <laughs> it is sealed. You'll never get it. This book here, you'll never get it except he helped you. No, sir. No, sir. You deliver a book to it. Come, brother, will you come quickly, son? Read that one more time, son. For the Lord has poured out. A, the, oh, and the visions of all is become and the unto of you. All your prophecies, that's if a man. As the words of the book that the is book sealed. That is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this. He delivers this sealed book. Imagine with me a lock on this book. He delivers this sealed book to a learned man, one that's got half of the alphabet behind his name. But wait, if a lock is on there and he ain't got the key, how can he open it? Uh -huh. So is it doing him any good? It can be life and death inside that book. His life or his death could depend on it, but he will die because he does not have a key. 
That's the educated folks. Stay, stay here. The educated folks. Man. Reverend Dr. Two Ball Jones. <laughs> huh? And they that got now they call it one another doc. What's going on, doc? Doc. Doc. Go ahead, cut it off. I got that in there too. Read, son. I pray they and he said, I cannot, for I it cannot. is sealed. It's sealed. It's locked. Read. 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. And I deliver to, I, I take the lock off and I give it to this man. He opens the book. He only speaks English, but it's in Chinese. He has no translator. It still ain't doing him no good. Why? Now, his death, his life is in this book, but he won't benefit from it. Why? He don't know what it says. Lord, have mercy. I think it's safe to say he's covering the learned and the unlearned. The wise and the unwise. Read. Saying, read this. And I pray said, thee. I cannot. Why? I am, I am not, not learned. Learned. Read on. 13, wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with Lord, their mouth. Have, I love the, come on. Lord, he had me. I love the Lord. Well, won't you live for him then? Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my word. That's what he said now. Amen. I just said, he said, read on, son. And with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me and their fear oh, towards me. Right there. Is a strange God. God do some strange things. He tell me strange things too. <laughs> and I, I was, I was, I wouldn't bother nobody yesterday. And he put this word in my heart and stuff. He said, "Now, people hollering by grace and being saved and don't know what grace and salvation is. Ain't got a clue." And I kept on listening. And he spoke a little bit more. And he said, "Now, when." They get to the point where they are so dense. I'm going to keep sending that word. I'm not going to change what's in your mouth. I'm going to keep sending that word. And I'm going to give them a certain time, many times to reject it. And then I'm going to do for you like I did for Jeremiah. You quit praying for me. Yes, sir. They done went too far. Too far. Now, that's strange to me because John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave the only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him should not perish. But the key is you got to believe. Jesus put it this way. Do not cast this pearl of great price. Do not cast your pearl before the swine. I got family members right now I've been praying for for years. And then God had lifted that burden. Amen. I feel for them. Because they've had years of being exposed to the truth. Not just me, others. And they, of their own free will, said, no. I'm not ready to get saved yet. I'm not ready. I, I, I want you, y'all ain't, y'all, y'all live such boring lives. What's boring about being at peace? What's boring about being able to lay down at night and stuff? Ain't you ain't got to worry about, you know, if you don't make it in the morning and stuff, you ain't got to worry about where you're going to go. I mean, what's boring about that? Honey, I'm so, I got so much uh, on my hand, amen. I ain't got time to be busy doing nothing else. Hallelujah. I don't know this Bible like I ought to know this Bible. That's why I stay in here. Amen. Now, I'm always learning. Amen. Trying to learn something. Now, but that's a 24-7 that's job there. You hear me? I don't want to talk about the miracles that, that he's doing. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm going to bring this up. We're going we're gonna to come on in. We, we was at a service Sunday. Why do the heat and rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Three, let us break their bands. Let us break their bands asunder. We will not live by your Bible. Discard it out the schools, and we don't want to hear it. Kick it out of the, 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 the places of authority. You know, like the, the uh, courthouse. The courthouse. Kick it out of there. We don't want to hear it. Read. 
and cast away their cords from us. For he seated in the heavens shall laugh. Hey, y'all the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have you in derision, and then when I do speak, it ain't gonna be what you want to hear. Read. And vex them in his sore displeasure. You in my wrath and vex you in my what? Sore displeasure. Read on. Six, yet have I set my, my king, king upon my holy hill of Zion. Seven, I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Read. Thou art my son. This day, hey, ask of me, and I shall give thee the, the heathen for thy inheritance Read. in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Nine, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt, do what? Thou, shalt, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Read. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's Read. vessel. Ten, be wise now, therefore, O you kings, yes, be instructed. Ye judges of the earth. Read. Eleven. Serve the Lord with fear and what did you say? serve the Lord with fear. What did you say? Serve the Lord with fear Read. and rejoice with trembling. Read. Twelve. Kiss the son, lest he be an Why angry. He ain't talking about kissing him on the jaw either. No, sir. Mary Magdalene rather that man so she bowed her knees. She washed his feet with her hair. That invited her to lunch. He said, from, You gave me no kiss when I came to your house, but this woman has not stopped kissing my feet from the time she came in here. Amen. My God, now, you can't kiss his feet unless you bow down. Y'all with me this morning? You're going to buckle your pride? You're going to buckle your and, and discard your ambition. Read on, son. Kiss the son lest he be angry and he perish from the way. Oh, Proverbs 13, no, 14, Proverbs 34. 14, 34. Righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness does. Exalt a nation. Read. But sin is a reproach to any people. Read. The king favors towards a wise servant. But. But it's reference against them that cause Now notice what he said in Psalms 2. Kiss the son lest he be angry. You perish from this earth here. What did you say? Righteousness does what? Exalt the nation. But sin. Is a reproach to any people. Close your Bible. 